Hello and welcome to Life in Envelopes. I am Jennifer Bleacher. This channel is all about planning, budgeting, paying off debt, and hopefully one day retiring early. So if those are topics that you are also interested in, then please subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you along on this journey. So today's video is going to be completely different than any video I've ever made. What we're going to do today, when I say we, I mean me and you, because we're going to do this together right now. I thought I should film this. We're going to sit down and we're going to figure out how to handle the financial situation that happened as um, a result of our recent natural disaster that hit our state. So just to give you quick background information on Monday, today is Saturday, and on Monday, our state was hit with a, a storm called a derecho. A derecho is a land-based hurricane. I had never heard of one before. I Nobody I had talked to, like everyone I've talked to has never heard of a derecho before. And now we all were very familiar with what it is. Um, there were there were winds over 100 miles per hour. It tore down trees, it uprooted trees, it broke trees, and they caused um, damage. I live in a city called Ames, Iowa. It's where Iowa State University is. It's 45 minutes north of Des Moines, Iowa, which is the capital of Iowa. And we lost power. Des Moines lost power. All the like little towns around us lost power. And then out from there, I don't, I don't even know. I haven't, I haven't even had a chance to check the news. I don't even know if it hit other states. It may have hit other states besides Iowa. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to inform myself later today. Just quickly give you an update of where we are. So Monday the storm hit, that would be day one. We lost power. Um, <clears throat> then yesterday, which was would have been day five, we got power last night. So the first thing I did, it was kind of late at night. So the first thing I did was I finished my October designs that are coming out on Wednesday and I printed all of those and I've been spending all morning cutting them out so that I'm ready for Wednesday's launch. So Monday we lost power and that was really the hardest day for me because I didn't know how long this was going to last. You know, when I, whenever I'd lost power in the past, it was for such a brief short of time, like such a brief period of time. I mean, I remember when I was a kid, we might lose power for an hour or two, but as a, as an adult, I don't think I've lost power for more than an hour. Not, not that I can remember at least. And, um, so I, I guess on Monday, I kept thinking the power was going to come back on. And that was unhealthy thinking because I, I was just waiting. So Monday was just waiting all day to finish my Etsy orders that I had started processing that morning and to make my YouTube video that I had planned on making that day. Um, so that was a very difficult day for me. I felt like I was letting everybody down and I couldn't contact anybody because I had still had cell phone power at that time. Like my phone was charged but um, there was no internet, I, I, no 4G. I couldn't, I couldn't communicate with the outside world. I couldn't get information about what's going on in the outside world. Um, so that was day one. Day two was a little bit better than day one because I had kind of accepted the circumstances that this is the way it's going to be. Day one was really hard because everything shut down. There was no gas stations open, no grocery stores open. I mean, we all lost power. By day two, 25% of our city was back up which was basically like the store. So we could get gas, we could um, get groceries. Well, well, what we did is we went and got like crackers and peanut butter, like things that wouldn't go bad in the refrigerator because we didn't have any power. So that was day two. On day three, my school had power. So I was able to go into my school, charge my cell phone and get a message out to the rest of the world. Um, I put a message on Instagram and Facebook and um, YouTube just to let people know like what was going on and why I kind of disappeared. <laughs> I wasn't able to upload videos. I had to um, uh, put my shop on vacation and I messaged everybody that was waiting on their Etsy order. So I felt a lot better after day three as far as all of that goes. We still didn't, still didn't have power at home. Day four, we were told that it was going to be probably another week before we got powers. And that day, my husband and I were able to get a generator. Um, generators had been selling out like right off, you know, right away. As soon as they unloaded the trucks, they would sell out. We got one Thursday morning right off the truck <laughs> from Lowe's. Um, it was very expensive. Altogether for everything, it was over a thousand dollars for the generator and then everything we needed to go with it. So um, we're going to get into those numbers in just a minute here. And then, uh, so that helped a lot. Now, I, I didn't, 
I've never used a generator before, so I didn't know how they work. So just in case you don't know how they work, I'll let you know. <laughs> you can plug things into it. So we were able to plug our refrigerator in, our coffee maker, and our sunroom has, has its own like AC window unit. The rest of the house is in central air. So we were able to plug that AC unit in and we turned that into our family bedroom. So we had air conditioning and we had coffee. And once we had air conditioning and coffee, I was a much happier person. So that was on day four. Day five, which was yesterday, we still didn't have power, but I was much happier because again, I had AC and I had coffee. So I was much happier by day five. And then end of day five, we got our power back. Whew. So that's the whole thing. I'm just going to insert a few pictures here of um, some damage for at my parents' house and some other uh, pictures that my, my son and I took around town. He and I actually made a recording for his YouTube channel and at some point this week I will get that all put together and um, a, U a YouTube video made about that. His, his channel is called Midwest Logan. I'll put a link to it in the description box below. I don't know when I'll get that video made. I have a lot of catching up to do. So, okay. So let's look at the numbers and see how this is going to impact us financially. Okay, so let's dive into the budget portion of this video. This is an Erin Condren Academic Planner, which I'm using as my budget planner for the year. Um, I recently got this. I had it already, but I messed it up with uh, testing my stickers from my Etsy shop. So I recently got a new one, and I just wanted to quickly flip through and show you um, some of the things I did. I added my name and my um, Instagram handle. I added all of our paydays and all of our the dates that our different sinking funds are going to come out. This here is our debt snowball update for the year. This kit is going to be released on Wednesday with my Wednesday releases, my October releases. So here, this here is the monthly spread, and at the beginning of the month, I set up my key. So I have debt, bills, food, gas, and miscellaneous, and I also set up all of my pinks and purples, which are my debt and bills or my fixed expenses. I set all of those up at the beginning of the month, and then each week I go back and I add my food, miss, gas, and miscellaneous, which are my variable expenses. So this time period covers this third week here. So I've already done the first two weeks and let me show you what that looks like. This is why I love the academic planner for my budget planner. It's, I'll show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like and then it's just perfect for me tracking my daily expenses. So this is what the first week looked like. I had three no spend days. This is what the second week looked like. I had four no spend days. Unfortunately this week I will not have any <laughs> of those no spend days. So I'm going to start by adding my washi and drawing lines on my um, book and then I'm going to add all of my expenses from the week. So I'm just going to fast forward this part for you. Okay, so just before I write down the amounts of everything, I just want to show you. This is what my like pre-videotaping planning looks like. It's quite messy, but it'll look nice on here when I'm all done with it. Um, by the way, with the food, I'm not going to write down because we had to eat out like once we lost power. We ate out pretty much every meal. We ate a couple meals of like crackers and peanut butter and we're like, that's it. We're just going to start eating out. So um, I'm just going to do one category for food for each day just to make a uh, take up a lot less space in my planner.
Okay, so that's what the week looks like. By the way, these all these stickers I'm using are available in my Etsy shop, Life in Envelopes. There will be a link in the description box below, as well as a 10% off coupon or uh, discount code for all of my YouTube viewers. Now let's go back to our monthly spread and let's add all of these expenses to the month. I can't remember if I told you this already, but these stickers are from Kara, from Kara Jo Plans on YouTube, and she has an Etsy shop as well. So I will also put a link to her description, uh, to her Etsy shop in the description box below. So on Monday, my son got his normal $10 a week of gas. We also had a pharmacy payment come out that day of $2.32. And my son had a parking ticket for $20. And it, he's still not working because of the coronavirus. So we did pay that for him and um, he did some work for me to pay that off. Okay, and then on Tuesday, we purchased food for $115.98. So Monday, we found a food truck that um, had a generator. So we were able to get dinner on Monday and we were starving, we were so hungry. And that food truck was packed. We had to like wait an hour for food. Um, but we got food that night, but we paid, we had to pay cash. So that didn't come out of our account. That came out of my spending money. So Tuesday I went over to Target and I was able to get some dry goods for $115.98. And then on Wednesday, I had to get gas for my vehicle for $22.85. And Disney Plus came out that day. Then um, on the 13th, uh, one of our bills came out, which is a medical debt for $30 came out. We ended up spending $23.89 on food. That was the day we got our generator from Lowe's. Now we ended up putting that on our one credit card that we still have left ahead. We have like 10,000 available <laughs> on that card and we, had, we didn't owe them anything. But um, we did use our one card that we have left, so we now have debt on that card. Um, but I also had to go back later and buy some gas cans because need, we need a gas for that. So this is for the gas cans. The, the purchase of a little over $1,000 is on our credit card. My plan was to pay that off right away with our emergency money. We have an emergency fund of $1,500, um, and that was my plan. But the insurance company has not come by yet, and I'm pretty sure we're going to need a new roof and new gutters and new paint on our house. And I think our deductible is going to be around $2,000 for the, all that. So um, I want to keep that $1,500 right now instead of just paying that card off right away. Because uh, I know that if I do have to come up with $2,000, it will have to be in cash. So I want to have that cash on hand for a little bit longer until all the insurance stuff goes through. Okay. Now, we also needed to get a lot of gas. So you're going to see a lot of gas because uh, we started to, starting on Thursday, we had to start filling up, um, you know, the gas cans <laughs> for our generator. So we spent fifteen sixty on gas. On the 14th, so $10 on gas. $64.49 on food. And then today we spent $18.14 on gas and $79.65 on food. So actually what we did is we spent this amount the day before. It seems like everything's coming out like a day later. So for this first week of August here, which was really the end of July and then August was on the 1st, um, our, our ending balance was a negative amount of 1648. Last week we had a negative amount of 6408 and when we add those together, we have a total running negative of $80.56. So let's see how we did this week. I already know it's going to be negative, but let's see how far negative we went. <laughs> okay, so for bills we budgeted $8. For debt we budgeted 30 for food, we budgeted 175. For miscellaneous, we budgeted 70. For gas, we budgeted 30. 
So that should be 313. Okay, now let's take a look at how much we actually spent. We spent 748 on our bills. We spent 30 on debt. We spent 284.01 on food. We actually spent a lot more than that on food, but like I said, we used our spending cash first before we added, you started using the cards. Um, we spent 6508 on miscellaneous expenses. And we spent 76.59 on gas, way above budget because we had to keep getting gas for our generator. So all together, let's see how much that comes to all together. Okay, so all together that came to 463.16. So let's see how, what the difference was in each category. I'm gonna use black if it was positive and red if it was negative. So in the first category, we were positive by 52 cents. In the second category, we broke even. In the food category, we were over by 109.01. In the miscellaneous category, we actually didn't go over. <laughs> That's shocking. We had a positive amount of $4.92. And gas, we were over budget by $46.59. So when we add all of these numbers together, we get a total neg negative amount of $150.16. And they add these two together to see how far negative we are so far this month. So we are negative $230.72. So this is, this is just part of the picture. We, um, we need to do, I need to stuff my cash envelopes and count the totals and see where I am there because we did end up using some cash from our cash envelopes. I need to update our, our debt snowball because we now have added debt. So unfortunately, this event is going to affect us. You know, it's um, not horrible. It's not devastating. We're definitely going to be able to handle it. It's just a little disappointing. It's gonna probably take us a few months to catch up with everything. Get that debt, that extra debt paid off. Um, rebuild our our sink, our rebuild our emergency fund once we have to spend that on the insurance for the new roof and everything. So, yeah, this is going to put us behind. But this is real life. This is what happens. Things happen in real life, and you just have to deal with it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys again next time. Bye.